Hello YouTube, this is Skating for Satori, and today uh, I thought I'd take this opportunity to share with you another uh, Skate Dad hack uh, on what to pack for a skateboarding trip. I just recently came back from a two-week vacation to Maui in which we did a lot of skateboarding over there. So uh, first, uh, if you have not seen the other video of a Skate Dad hack of securing your skateboard and pad bags to your rental car, uh, please check that out. But uh, these are the cables and the locks that are used in that video. So I have a small cable lock here, a uh, cable, and also a larger cable to secure the pad bags, and then also two uh, pad locks uh, that are a uh, combination so that I don't have to carry around the key. Uh, when we do take our flight over, uh, I carry uh, the skateboard as well as the pad bag uh, in this Thrasher bag that is available off of uh, Thrasher Magazine's uh, website. Um, and what we do is we make sure that we carry it on, we don't check it. So um, this bag has straps on the bottom that allow you to strap your skateboard to the bottom. And then as you roll it through the, to the, um, the airport, it just looks like another uh, carry-on, uh, you know, roll-away duffel. But uh, once we get on the plane, we unstrap and then take the skateboard and then what we do is we tuck it underneath the seat in front of us, grip side down and then it's uh, secured and then the pad bag, since it is a duffel, it's very easy to put into the overhead bin so we just put this part into the, this bag into the overhead bin. Okay, so when going on a skate trip I think the first and probably the most important thing to take and pack with you is obviously your skateboard. Um, what I do uh, as a step in the preparation process is I just make sure that I do a once over of the skateboard, make sure that all the parts and everything are in good shape and good working order. So I check you know, the, um, the, the mounting hardware, the bushings, make sure the trucks are not cracked, and then also make sure that the wheels uh, and bearings are in good shape and that it's going to hold up on during uh, the skate trip. Okay, next, you might be curious as to uh, wonder what's inside the dad thrasher bag. Uh, so uh, let's take a quick look. Um, I pack it the same way every time um, with uh, core, core items of uh, helmet, uh, pads, and shoes. But uh, in this particular trip, I packed it for Maui. And as I uh, share with you what's inside, you'll um, you'll uh, understand why. Okay, so first is my helmet. I pack it at the very end here, and I pack it in a separate bag to keep it from getting scratched. And so also I tuck away my wrist guards into the helmet, okay, and I keep it in this bag here. Next, is my knee and elbow pads. So I pack them in this way and uh, I use both 187 um, knee and elbow pads. And then uh, let me just share with you a quick uh, space saving uh, trick. So what I do is I tuck away the elbow pads into the, uh, the portion here in the knee pad and then I strap them down And that way they pack pack away uh, together, and then you can compress them in the bag like this. Next is my shoes, my skate shoes. So I wear half cabs. So what I do is to save space, I'll put them in, and I'll put them in this way. So that way it only takes up this much room inside the pad bag. All right, let's see what else is in here. Next item is, I also make sure if we're not familiar, and this is purely optional, but um, uh, this trip I took uh, uh, an extra set of wheels uh, that can be used by either myself or J-Man. Um, we didn't really need to use them this trip, um, but some parks, the cement is slipperier than others. So both of us ride Bones SPF uh, formula. 
in the skate park, uh, but it's a really hard wheel. So I make sure to take a set um, uh, of similar shape, this time in Spitfire for, uh, Formula 4 conicals, but in a lower durometer. So this one happens to be 99A, uh, which is a little bit softer and grippier wheel. I also make sure to put an extra set of bearings already pre-installed, so that way, uh, if we really do need to use these wheels, I could just take off the axle nuts and, and then swap out the wheels probably within, I would say, uh, five to 10 minutes, and it doesn't really impact your session that much. Okay, another thing that I carry in my dad bag is an extra pair of board shorts and a microfiber towel. And so the reason is uh, when we go to Maui, um, it's when we go to visit the skate park, I do wear dickies uh, when I skate, uh, but it's so hot and humid there, usually ranging between 80 and 90 degrees that by the end of the session, you, you just continue to sweat. So, um, and your, your clothes are just drenched. So what I do is, uh, you know, you can change out if the park skate park has like a, a um, a bathroom uh, you can change out in there or uh, change out discreetly in the car and then I, I you can wear the board shorts if you're lucky uh, and you're you're by the um, the beach side or a park uh, sometimes they have those showers that you could just pop in and then you can rinse off and then uh, you can kind of um, get refreshed and also get kind of rid of the um, the pad funk and the pad smell uh, the other option is that you know you can just uh, jump wear these and then just jump in the ocean uh, to cool down and get refreshed and uh, wash off you know uh, perspiration and also the pad smell. Um, I on all my board shorts before I go on the trip I, I coat them with uh, durable water repellent so the water sheets off so they dry very very quickly so using this towel you know, you, you uh, uh, can just take a quick shower, dry yourself off, but also use the towel to wipe down your shorts. And then typically, uh, if the weather there is about 80 degrees, you'll be dry in about 10 minutes. So it's just a good uh, uh, skate dad hack to have uh, to, to feel um, cooler and refreshed after your session. All right, and then the Thrasher bag has a side pocket here. So here are just a few of the items that I packed inside this pouch here. And they are a cold pack, ice pack, portable ice pack, disposable ice pack, a small first aid kit, and a pouch for spare parts. Okay, so the cold pack is pretty self-explanatory as to why I pack it. Uh, just in case somebody is injured, uh, you, know, you have a portable as well as disposable um, ice pack that can be used that you could just um, break very quickly, break the seal quickly, and then get it on the wound. So that way you're not having to scramble for ice or uh, maybe caught in a bad situation where you don't have anything cold or ice to um, uh, hold down the swelling of a, a injury. The other piece is a first aid kit. So this is the really simple one. Um, and inside are just a, a few bandages, uh, also um, alcohol and sanitizing wipes, and also some um, antibiotic ointment. Uh, so this comes in really handy uh, on a skate trip as well as just if you're out, out and about on, on your vacation. Okay, so in this pouch here, I keep spare parts uh, for our skateboards, but on the outside, I also make sure on trips that I carry uh, a skate tool. Usually I uh, use, you know, the regular uh, tool, skate tool like this at home, but it's a little bit bigger and harder to pack, so I pack this one. I notice that this one works the best for us. Uh, what I use is the Skateology um, uh, carabiner skate tool. So it has the uh, um, Phillips head and Allen head uh, tool, as well as um, um, kingpin, mounting hardware, and axle nut uh, wrenches here. So it packs up, and also a rough edge so that you can uh, put together uh, your skateboard and rough up the grip tape. 
and it just packs up really well here. This uh, is a freebie that I got um, at a um, insurance uh, seminar, but what this is is portable soap. So this little sheet uh, is portable soap, and then um, some skate parks have have soap. Some some of them do not. Um, so you could just take this, pour, pour some water, and then it'll lather up, and then it'll be uh, enough soap for one hand washing. So I always make sure to carry these around. Okay, so on the inside of the pouch, uh, I carry uh, spare parts, uh, all the parts necessary to repair the skateboard uh, for myself or, or J-Man, uh, and also possibly to help other riders too. Um, so make sure to carry an extra set of bushings uh, in Bones Soft as well as Bones Medium. Uh, I also carry an extra set of mounting hardware uh, using the Shake Jump brand. So J-Man uses color-coded bolts, uh, green in the front, yellow in the back. So uh, always make sure to carry an extra set in case uh, we need it. We also carry extra uh, bearings just in case uh, the ones that are on our boards either lock up or blow out or whatever. Also extra set of uh, spacers as well. Also make sure to carry an extra set of, uh, of uh, axle nuts uh, just in case. Uh, if you have access to a skate uh, shop, you know, you could just roll in there and they, they'll probably just uh, give you one for free or you can buy one for 25 cents. But, you know, if you're somewhere that, uh, um, that doesn't have a skate shop nearby, uh, and then, you know, I've seen it happen where this falls off, the guy looks all over the skate park, can't find it, and then basically their session comes to an end over a 25 cent part. Um, I also carry some washers as well for the um, bushings. Uh, so I carry an extra spare uh, bones washers as well as for Indy. And then also some speed rings, uh, a kingpin nut, and also the re-threader for the Ace Trucks axles. And then for myself, I, I uh, make sure to carry some ibuprofen for me if in case I need it for the session. Okay, so the Thrasher bag has two side pockets, so let me show you what I pack in there. Uh, first, I carry a carabiner. Uh, this is particular one just happens to be from uh, Harbor Freight Tools. I think it's like $1.99. Um, what I use it for is um, I clip it to the handles and then um, I can hang it from like a tree branch or I can clip it to the chain link fence. So that way the bag is off the ground. And then also if it's uh, clipped to like the chain link fence, it makes it a little bit more obvious if somebody um, you know, is trying to steal your stuff. So uh, just a good thing to have. Uh, another good thing to have is to take some spare laces uh, just in case the, you know, the uh, laces break on our shoes or we've seen it more often, other people break a lace and then we give them away. And then on last item on this side is uh, just a small bar of wax. This one happens to be from Spitfire. But uh, just in case we ever need to wax anything, um, a ledge or our trucks for more grinding, I uh, just carry a small piece of wax. And then on the right side, uh, this item is not skateboarding related, but uh, I take these with me on a trip, uh, just some swag. Um, and occasionally we'll run into a Street Fighter or a Capcom IP fan or video game fan. And, uh, you know, I just like to give them away uh, kind of as a thank you uh, and a gesture of, uh, of thanks uh, for being a Street Fighter or Capcom fan. So uh, these I always pack a few in my bag here. All right, I appreciate everyone uh, taking the time to watch this video and allowing me to share my Skate Dad hack with you of what I pack uh, when I go on a skateboarding trip with my son. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them uh, in the comments section below. 
if you have also if you have any other recommendations of what works for you uh, and what to pack when you go on a skate trip uh, please also leave them in the comments section below so that uh, everybody can benefit from that um, thanks once again and hopefully we'll see you at the skate park